So we've been working with OpenCV and EMGU CV, which are computer vision um, libraries, algorithms, libraries of algorithms used for computer vision. And uh, what I've done here is wrapped a lot of that functionality, um, rather EMG U C V is a uh, is a .NET wrapper that exposes a lot of the methods and properties found in OpenCV, both in 1.0 and 2.0. And so what that does is it, it gives the, the wrapper exposes that functionality um, where you can use it in visual languages such as C Sharp or VC or um, any of the visual languages or really even even beyond that. So what I've done is made uh, is is I'm leveraging that, leveraging those DLL, DLLs in a C sharp application, and I've put together something I call the quotient robotics computer vision, um, and it really models uh, kind of the interface and style and flow of what I've been using in Robo Realm, and really this came about because I was I was playing with some of the algorithms and playing with some of the functionality and thought, hey, I really just need a quick and easy way to visually see the the changes that I'm making to the filters and whatnot. So I've got my project here. I've got um, different modules that I call them these different classes. I've got a module for contour and face detect and skin detect and threshold, et cetera. So I'll be adding in different, uh, different classes in this module section, um, which correspond obviously with the front end here so I can toggle certain things, modify their values, thresholds, et cetera, and I can visually see that on the screen as I'm playing with it. Then what I'll do is I'll um, uh, create some functionality that allows me to save those settings so I can kind of create, save, modify projects as needed for whatever it is I'm doing, whether I'm doing some face detection, hand detection, um, simple thresholds, maybe even get to the point of path planning, stuff like that. So I'll launch the program, and, and, and really what I wanted to do here is just give a quick overview of the type of thing that I'm working on here and and expose some of the functionality that I've put together so here we can see me talking on the recorder I'm gonna say hello um, so obviously we've got the video camera output right here uh, I've got this debugger um, text box which right now is is the only thing that's being sent to the debug text box is enabled disabled features uh, or filters um, but add functionality to that later. Got this uh, timer trigger interval. So this is a, a essentially affecting the um, timer control of the application. So every, in this case, 50 milliseconds, I'm capturing a new frame of the video and sending that capture or what's called the, the, uh, the query method that's exposed, query, frame query, and sending that to an image control. Then we also have the intervals passed, so we have some sort of idea of how many, how many ticks have occurred. So every, every 50 milliseconds, we're seeing a new interval pass. Have this tab control set up, so I have all of my different modules. This is what corresponds in, uh, to, the, to the modules folder that I showed earlier. And I've set up just some basic things here. So threshold, we'll go ahead and enable the threshold. I can play with the values here. So again, that's in real time, so I can actually see what exactly these threshold, uh, these these different parameters correspond with. So I can turn these things on and off. Now, if I wanted to overlay multiple filters, I would enable my threshold. I can come into the contour, and I can turn on the contour. Um, if I'd like to over top of that, I can also click back here, disable the threshold, um, and I can change my my parameters as needed. So we can see we can start to uh, we can start to overlay these different filters and and see the effect in real time. Another feature that I was going to be adding is this drawing section. So with each filter um, that we run, it's going to be passing back. We'll have a list of parameters that are passed back, and those can be accessible throughout the program. One of the areas they'll be leveraged is in the drawing section. So if I were interested in the X value of some 
uh, parameter object that I'm tracking, I could see the X value of the uppermost portion or maybe the lowermost portion or perhaps the center of my hand, which would be nice, nice and useful for um, for hand tracking or object tracking, something like that. So those would be exposed throughout the drawing where I could draw a box around the hand, draw a crosshair, a square, an X, whatever it might be. Uh, another one of these modules is the face detection. Um, so what happens is your is your uh, your intervals drop considerably just due to the processing time. As you can see, there's some lag on the screen as I'm talking. It's not moving in full unison. Um, that's an effect of the face processing uh, or the the face algorithm in OpenCV or EMGU CV. Then we've got skin detection. Um, this is an experimental. Um, this is really the the uh, the combination of a bunch of filters that I'm working on. So really, everything prior to um, to the skin detection um, list of filters that are actually running in the background for skin detection. So this is something that is that I'm actually working on right now. Um, then in uh, in addition to that, we've got this snap image feature. So I can say snap image, and it's going to take a uh, a, uh, a photograph of the current screen and it's crashing which it's just saving to the wrong directory which uh, it's a great time to actually just end what we're talking about here so that's what we're currently working on as, as you can see you know certainly a work in progress and something that I'm going to be working on over the next couple uh, weeks months